Hi guys, hope you're all doing good. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create an amazing 4K color correction in just few steps in After Effects, just like this. This video is sponsored by, by an enhancer. This is a really amazing video enhancer tool. You can download it from the description. Just drag and drop your video in it and you can enhance it. Just follow me here. We're going to use the intelligent enhancement. Uh, let me show you guys the preview. As you guys can see, the quality is really nice. On the right side, you can see the results. And I really love this quality. You can see it's really crisp and smooth. I'll just, after that, just click on the export and decide your location. And export your video. Just like this. Let me name it. And click on export. It will take time according to your system. Once it's exported, you can see the results. And after adding my CC, you can get something like this. Okay, back to the video. Here I have two clips. One is raw clip and one is our enhanced clip. So I'm going to add an adjustment layer on it and add a effect which is our S sharpen. This one. And here you guys need to copy a few settings. You can see leave the sharpen M1 and the small details will be 3. And the Luma sharpen and sharpen Luma will be 0.5. After that we're going to add the unsharp mask. And the value is to be amount will be 30 and the radius will be like 50. Yes, that's enough. You can see the quality is nice but we have some sharp edges and like little bit extra sharpness. For that we can add the FXAA plugin. This is a free plugin you can download from the Google. You can see we have a little bit of smooth edges on our character. We have another option for FXAA. You can also add the detail preserving of scalar. This is a really amazing plugin and option. Just copy my settings here. You can reduce noise up to 100 or even 50. It's up to you. 100 it's a bit too much I think so I will set it to 50 I think that's enough as you can see the quality is really nice so our quality process is done after that we are going to add some color correction let me show you the before and after okay after that we're going to add a new adjustment layer and add looks on it and add some of color settings you can play with it and create some desired colors and almost done here just a few settings you can copy me if you want i will give this cc in the description and here we're done i will have this cc in my description you guys can download it from there and make sure to download any enhancer also and like this video thank you guys